next we have a oh, oh, up next we have a ATOG veteran. She's done an open mic before. Let's give it up for Megan. Where's Megan? Hi. Last year was my first time that I'd ever done it. And then I decided that I wanted to be famous because I've always been told that I'm only going to be an engineer. And yeah, I'm really good at math, but I'm also good at being famous. So I thought that I would try and do that. And so then I started thinking of famous names that I could give myself. And my initials from Megan McIntyre are Eminem. And then I realized that name was already taken, which was really disappointing. But I think if I ever become famous, I might use the name Skittles. Taste the rainbow. <laughs> Just to let you know. Um, but anyways, I, um, last year I wrote a lot of stuff that was very personal to me, and this year I wrote a poem called Sex Pot, so that's the first one I'm going to read. So I hope that you enjoy this. I'm gonna be straight up. I voted for Obama because he is a sex pot. And by that I mean a pot full of sex. I sang the song, I got a crush on Obama every night on YouTube for one week straight in my Christmas Dalmatian pajamas into a hairbrush. See, it was a must to drive my conservative parents crazy while I munched on toast and strawberry preservatives with my weed poster on one wall standing tall right next to my chest trophies and my mad bleach shirt. See, that's the dirt. I'm a regular kid from white America who needs some dark chocolate in my life because no, I'm not black, but I believe in equality and I'm not gay, but I think that you should marry whoever you are meant to be with. And I was raised Catholic, but I don't believe that my religion is better than yours. And sure, it was time for a good looking sex pot president to open the doors and the minds of those around us cuz. If we were defined by the trailer trash TV or some of the media we frequently live by decree, the next headline on Moy would be Obama baby mama drama. <laughs> but see, instead this country is more than what others claim our potential to be and through, and through not only the diversity of our race, ethnicity, of our religion and democracy, but more so of our minds. I believe we can find the same human entity that dictates our lives and no, it's not God or the Bible, or some bitch rival trying to kick your ass, see? This entity is love for every person, regardless of what they have done, regardless of how much money or how much fame they have won, regardless of whether they are black or brown or albino, I don't know. This world just needs more Obamas and Dalai Lamas and less news filled with traumas. We need to stop talking drugs and stroking the egos of us, uh, those leading us who don't deserve it. We need to get off our own asses, take this world and preserve it. And no, I'm not deranged because I know our words can change. And our voices while young are important because guess what? This isn't the stone age, it's the age of discovery, not of robots. It's about love and about loving our own sex packs. Woo! <laughs>